Hi there, I'm Greg Fries. I'm a paramedic and first responder in central Wisconsin. I'm actually working today as a first responder. I'm on call. So if this pager goes off, I'm going to have to jump up and leave while this is recording. And then I'll come back and finish it later. One of the viewers uh, asked me about airway control and delivering ventilations to a patient that needs rescue breathing. And they said, you know, a lot of us are familiar with the pocket mask and how that might attach to a bag valve mask that you squeeze. You've seen those on TV. You put it over the patient's face and you provide them breaths. This is actually a surprisingly difficult skill to hold this thing just right over the patient's face and not have air push out to the sides. Uh, last fall at a, a conference, uh, one of the vendors, uh, New Mask it's called, uh, gave me this device that they've created. It's called the New Mask. And it's a little bit different and it's like a snorkel mouthpiece. Can you see that? Like how that's like a snorkel. And so you would put this between the patient's gums and teeth just like this, and then you ventilate through that hole. So instead of trying to hold a seal, you have the patient's lips and gums creates the seal for you. So you'd spread the cheeks, gum, insert, and ventilate through there. Pretty innovative. They even package it with an oral airway to help with uh, uh, displacing the tongue and keeping the airway open for ventilations to go in. And they also have a lay rescuer kit that's uh, kind of nice in there. Uh, there's uh, directions, there's an alcohol wipe, and then a set of gloves. Uh, so you might package this with your defibrillator that's in your school, airport, mall, workplace. And then uh, it's the same concept in that it goes between the cheek and gums, but this one's packaged with a one-way valve on the end, so your air pushes the valve open, air goes into the patient, and then when the patient exhales, the passive part of uh, breathing, exhalation, their air goes out, it actually pushes off to the sides and goes down uh, to the edges, so the patient's exhaled air isn't going right up in your face. A nice feature, I think. So again, I'll show you how it goes in. Just like this. And when I exhale, I could feel that air pushing out the sides and, and hitting my cheeks. Uh, this is called the New Mask. It's spelled N-U-M-A-S-K. And I'm sure you can find them on the internet at that same address, N-U-M-A-S-K dot com. Uh, so, some simple, again, this is the, the typical pocket mask. And it's something different from New Mask. Maybe give it a try. See which one works best for you.